Hello and welcome. In today's episode, we're going to fix our villager breeder and build the iron farm. My name is Father Batcaster and this is Paladin Craft. For those that may have missed the first episode, Paladin Craft is a Let's Play series that is currently based on Minecraft Java version 1.20.1. After certain quality of life mods are updated, I'll update the world to 1.20.2. So let's get started. First we're going to clean up a little around the cabin and then go out and get some pumpkins so that we can replace the torches with jack-o'-lanterns at the carrot farm. So on my way back, I saw a ruined nether portal and decided to check it out. I still need some gold to make some powered rails later on. Hey, these uh, zombies seem a little quiet. Maybe they're the new ninja zombie that's coming out in 1.21. Nope, I just forgot to turn on hostile mob sounds. Let's get that fixed so we don't die. So on my way to get bamboo so that I can use them to make sticks instead of using trees, I passed by my old mountain. This mountain used to be Stony Peaks, but apparently it's now a snowy biome. I'd wanted to use this to build my castle, but now I'm going to have to reevaluate if that is what I want to do or not. There's also this cherry cherry forest, so let's grab some cherry blossoms, wood, and some saplings. One of the things that I got used to while playing on the range SMP was fat sleep decay. I got kind of spoiled with it and realized in episode 1 that I didn't have that loaded. I have since loaded it, so if you notice that the leaves decay faster, that is why. I made it to the jungle and picked up some bamboo, some cocoa beans, and chopped down a jungle tree so I could grab the wood and bring the saplings home. On the way home from getting the bamboo and jungle wood, I came upon a cow and decided to bring it home. I planted the jungle saplings, cocoa beans, and bamboo so they could start growing as well. I needed some coal and decided to chop down the trees between the cabin and the lush cave so that I could have clear line of sight back to the cabin. I found a decent little pocket of coal and gathered it up.
I need the coal so I can make some torches for the jack o' lanterns. This one is sometimes the water and trader is only good for the weather. So I decided to mark the spawn chunk so that I know the boundaries for farms. In the next episode I will be making a mob switch, so I need to know where the entity ticking chunks are and the chunks that do not process entities. I am using mini HUD to mark them out. Let's pick up what's left and check on the villagers to make sure that none of them got converted. Let's head over to the lush cave and see if we can find any copper so we can make a lightning rod and prevent these types of events from happening again. But first, we need to get past the skeleton. Copper. So, this should make everyone a little safer. So I went out and gathered up two more cows and two more sheep and brought them back home. I tucked them away under the carrot farm in a corral, so I didn't have to keep the leads out. I believe that I lost the lead to the lightning of fire. So, now to build the iron farm. I went out to the desert, grabbed some sand for glass, and started building. Go ahead and count the number of deaths, and I'll see you when it's all finished.
I want to take the time to give thanks to the Logical Geek Boy for the Villager Reader and Iron Farm design, and to Rousey from Logic's Discord server for helping me to fix the reader. Go ahead and give a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe, and click on the notification button so that you can alert for new videos. Head on over to FazzleBattlecaster.tv for links to all my socials, and join me on Twitch on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays.